biggest challenges to social protection today are first, that our current systems aren't well suited to our societies, and second, that there are big changes coming ahead which will make them even less well suited. In terms of our current systems, they were designed for an era when people worked for one or two employers for their whole careers, where women took care of the young and the old and didn't necessarily engage in paid work, where people didn't live as long a life, where people got their education once early on in their career and then didn't get revisit their educations again. Clearly that's not relevant for modern societies where women work, we live longer, we're less attached to our employers, we have to reskill multiple times over the course of our career. Moreover, because of digitization, automation, and, and changing demographics, we will need to think even harder about our current systems of social protection in the future. I think one of the most important insights from today's discussion is that relying on payroll taxes, which tax workers through their employment to provide their social protection in hard times, may not be well suited to the modern labor market. On the other hand, universal systems whereby you use general taxation to provide people with protection in difficult times is politically very challenging in an era of globalization, immigration, and more heterogeneous societies. So finding the right way to finance our systems of looking after each other is a huge challenge. So I hope as a result of today's discussion, uh, the, the LSE can really build on our fantastic history of being the place in the world that thinks the most creatively and comprehensively about the welfare states and systems of looking after people during the, over the course of their lives. And we last year did uh, a series of events which we call Beverage 2.0. This event is really carrying on from that process of trying to engage the school more widely in thinking about the future of welfare states in the 21st century. I also am very keen to see the IMF rethink its approach to social protection. The IMF, of course, has considerable influence in advising countries all over the world on their systems. And there's huge change needed in the advanced economies whose social protection systems are being challenged by automation, by aging. And in developing countries who are really at the beginning of develop comprehensive welfare states. And so it's a hugely timely moment to rethink uh, social protection across the world.